Okay, welcome everybody. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the system cleaner and optimizer called FreshMac. We've included a download link directly below this video in the comments section for you to easily access and download the software for you to use yourself. Now here we are located at the home page of FreshMac and what I'd like to do in this video review today is basically review the features of the software as well as the user experience from install to removal. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is, of course, download the software. So I'm going to click on download and you can see that the download is going to pop up and start automatically. I'm going to fast forward just a bit while this downloads and I'll meet you back here in just a minute. OK, now that our software is finished downloading, let's go ahead and walk through the install process. Over here, we'll grab our downloads, click on Fresh Mac and we get our very typical install window Mac HD. let's go ahead and install if i'm going to be prompted for my password okay wrapping up the install and it dives right into the scanning process all right so let's take a look at what's happening here first of all i notice that we have a very nice clean intuitive user interface I like that it is not cluttered. I don't see a lot of advertisements all over the place. You can tell this is really a professional and polished product. Over on the left hand side, we can see that the scan is taking place and we can see that there are, um, or you can see the different categories of the areas that the uh, software is scanning right now. Also down here at the bottom, I like that we have some of these tips that popped up and kind of just kind of gives you some of an explanation as to how the software is working, what it's doing, um, where it's cleaning, and what it's going to eventually be looking for as it goes through um, each of those various categories. We'll give this just a moment to finish up. And let's take a look at some of the features that we can tweak and actually review. Whoa, there we go. Okay, so you can see here, uh, we have the system cache, the logs, the languages, trash, and privacy are all key areas that the software has basically uh, scanned on the computer to look for possible issues and ways that we can fix them. Now you can see that it indicates how many issues it finds with each different category. And over here on the left hand side, you can see that we have all of the um, options for ways that we can review those different files. So let's go ahead and just click on cache. Clicking on cache, you can see that it has opened up all of the direct cache files that the software has found and is going to clean. One thing that I really like is that if there are specific files with this software that you do not want to have cleaned, you can go through and deselect those files. That way when you check fix safely, it will not be removed from your system. I'm going to keep everything here enabled. Same goes with the logs. All of your log files, it will show you how many issues, how many potential problems, how many items are found, and how much space can be recovered after you fix it. Let's go ahead and look at unused languages. Look at this, 40 megs of used space from languages that I will never use. We have our trash, which I have actually recently cleaned, so it's no surprise that I'm not finding anything here. And then we have our privacy cleaner, okay? And this would be all of the things like your cookies and um, browsing data, filled out forms, um, all of that type of information that can be recoverable. Uh, it's really nice that FreshMac can do it right here for you. Now here are some features that I really like is the fact that it has a built-in uninstaller. I could very easily just click on any installed application. So let's just suppose I wanted to get rid of any of these. I could just select it and then I can go through the uninstall process right here. Same with your temp files. Now I've recently also removed all of the temp files from my computer, but this is often a very large collection of files that will really eat up a lot of space on your computer. And then finally we have our startup apps. If you have a long list of startup applications that you wouldn't want to have, um, you can easily just use this software to go ahead and enable or disable applications that are in your startup menu. 
Okay, and that about covers the main features of the Fresh Max software. As a quick review, what I really like about this software is A, it's extremely easy to use, it's very intuitive, it's clean, it's neat, and you can really understand what it is that it's doing, and it works. I like that you can go through and you can review each specific area that the uh, software scans for, and I really like the option that I can go through here and select and or deselect the different files or logs that I would like to keep or remove. Okay, and I think in the near future I'm going to be activating this product and I recommend once again that you access the direct link in the comment section below for you to download the software and give it a try yourself. Alright, have a great day everybody.